Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at EstampAbove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, we had a good weekend. My mom was here most of the weekend and that was really fun. So, here comes people. Hi, Patty. I'm going to get you guys loaded up on my page so I can see what's going on. Hi, Lori, Susan, welcome. It's about 52 degrees here in Menasha. Um, I didn't spend any time outside, but I did get a nap today, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> it's the little things in life that make me so happy. Yeah, so I've got lots of energy tonight. Don't worry. Um, we're going to have a good stamping night. I've got some great projects to show you. And here we go. Okay, I have you loaded. Hi, Jessica, Lori, Pat, welcome, Judy. So happy to see everybody popping in. Hi, Beth. So, let's see. I am going to share my cards that I got in the mail, whoops, this week. And, oops, that's not a card. What is all this stuff? Oh, I think, I don't know if I shared this with you guys or not. But this was from Diana Canada. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that uses some of that um, laser cut paper over our, is it called Promenade Designer Series paper? Yeah, this is an Easter card that came in the mail from Diana, and how beautiful is that? I loved it. And then, let me see, oh, look at how she decorated her envelope. Isn't that pretty? Hi, Mary, hi, Michelle. And then I received a card from Elaine Rebeck. And Elaine sent me this pretty thank you card. Let's see if I can get it in the camera straight there. Yeah, isn't that pretty? And she was thanking me for... Ooh, she won the Lots of Happy card kit. Ooh, that's a big one. So that was super sweet. Thank you, Elaine. And then, this is kind of cute. So this card is from my mom. And this is actually a photograph that I took, I gave her a set of photograph cards. I like to take um, photographs and put them on the card fronts and then stamp greetings on them. So my mom sent me my card that I gave her as a gift back. And it says, Kelly and Steve, thanks so much for having me for Easter, especially lunch and dinner. Had a great time, love mom. Yeah, my mom uses a lot of cards. She's not really a card maker. She does make her own Christmas cards, though. She takes a winter scene photograph and layers it on cardstock layers. When she was here, I gave her a silicone craft mat, another bottle of glue, and a bone folder. So she was pretty, she was pretty excited about that. Oh, look at all the mess I have back here. I usually try to clean that off. But um, you can see right, let me see if I can do this, right there, I got my other stack of blends storage so I've um, added those yeah I'm pretty excited about that I don't have my storage put together yet for my ink pads and those little QB box things so when I do I'll make sure that I show it to you guys um, I kind of got slammed this last week in a good way don't get me wrong but I um, thought I would be able to get a lot more things that I needed to get done done and instead um, I had some new things come into my business, like I'm going to be part of the Stamping Society International uh, video tutorial. There's a blog hop, and then we have a whole set of tutorials from each person in the Stamping Society design team that we'll be sharing with our customers. Um, minimum $25 order gets you this tutorial for free. So I had to get my projects made. I have to make two projects, one for Blog Hop and one for the exclusive um, video tutorial and make two videos. And holy cow, it's like everything just kind of like went, woo. So, um, <laughs> Faye says she wants to see what I have in store for you tonight. Well, I'm excited because I have a super cute easel card. I have a um, bridge card and then also another really beautiful card to share with you. And don't forget this. I did get, if you guys are aware, I'm, I'm having some problems with Facebook. And um, I did get my one issue sh fixed. I'm trying not to say H-A-R-E because we have found out as I've done some research that that is a huge problem. 
apparently the S-H-A-R-E button that Facebook has, they don't really want people to use it. <laughs> I don't know. They should name it something else, right? Like, I just think that's incredibly silly. But anyway, so this is how I am combating that little problem. I did get my link to work, and it was just something really crazy that um, my friend France called me from Texas and said, hey, we talked through a whole bunch of things about the problems I'm having. And then she said, I, and then I mentioned to her that nobody could S-H-A-R-E my link to my Facebook business page. And when the error came up saying that I was going against community standards, there was um, the link to my Stampin' Up! store in there. And that didn't make sense to me. Like there was something off about that, thinking that something with the store link was making things not work. So we started talking about that and she's like, is there an S after your HTTP, which is all computer language. And I went and looked and sure enough, there's no S after the HTTP. And so I deleted it, put an S in there, put my button back on the page so you guys can click easily right from that Facebook page. And, um, all is good with the world again. So if anybody has that happen to them, contact me. I'll tell you how to fix it. You know, I'm not a computer programmer, but oftentimes I feel like I am because I know a lot, a lot more than I should. <laughs> oh, yeah. So wonderful. Um, don't forget to do this, too. I, I'm not going to say the word because L-I-K-E is another buzzword that Facebook apparently doesn't like. I don't know why they have a button for it if they don't want us to do it. So make sure you do that, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm getting ready to create all of the cards and the instruction sheets for my online. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Look at all those like buttons coming in. I love it. The heck with you, Facebook. <laughs> we can work around your little issues. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> Yeah, uh, somebody just said that you couldn't even type the word S-H-A-R-E, and that's true. Um, it, it's, it's become a real problem. So I think also after talking a couple to a couple of my demonstrator friends today, because when you have something like that bring you down, like it, it halts me. And I spent all morning, like literally three hours on this problem trying to figure out how to get my link so that it would post. Um, I, I'm thinking I'm going to start doing YouTube Live so YouTube loves me and YouTube also pays me. Hmm. I pay Facebook to boost my posts. Maybe I'm not supposed to say that word either. Probably not. But I pay them to do that. And they won't let me click this or tell people to do that. I don't know. Anyways, let's stop whining about that. There's nothing we can do about it. Um. So... My monthly technique club, this is an online club, and this is wonderful for people who um, aren't local to me, first of all, or even if you're local to me, and you don't, you have a, a house full of kids, or you have a very busy schedule, and you can't get to my classes. The online technique club is a fabulous place for you to join in, and with your, um, I think it's a $30 order. Look at me. I'm like, I would need to go look at my stuff because you guys know I can't remember anything. Um, with your $25, it's a $25 order every month, you get from me a card. So this is our April Technique card. You guys saw me make this on Facebook a while ago, um, earlier this month, actually. This is a motion technique, right? And you will get that in a cute or pretty or elegant envelope and then you also get an instruction card now what my online technique clubbers do is they keep these instruction cards let me show you what I have here and after you've been in the in the club for a while you have a whole pack of these instruction cards that tell you what the technique was and how to do it. Because if you're like me, we can't remember Jack anything, right? It's a problem. But there's a whole bunch of techniques that I do with my technique club, my online technique club. And after a while, 
you'll have a great big container like this, or you can put a, a ring through it and a hole and put it on a ring. So when you go to stamp, you can grab that and go, hmm, what technique would I like to do today? So that's really cool. But this is my April technique. And all you have to do is email me that you want to join the club. So it's a minimum $25 order each month for six months consecutively. And at the end of that time frame, you will get a $30 product credit from me. So that's really cool, right? And you can choose to continue on and do it for another six months. So I have a whole bunch of people in this online technique club, and it's really nice for people who aren't local or don't have time to come to my classes. Um, Rhonda's asking, discount shoppers can't get it? Yes, discount shoppers can get it, Rhonda. The only thing is, is the order has to be put through me. So you have to go into my store, order a minimum $25 before tax and shipping, and also, don't forget to let me know that you want to be in that group because I have to add you to my list in order to know how many I need to make each month. So um, if anybody would like more information on that, private message me and um, I can get your email address and I'll send you the email. Or I think, I, I think in the right-hand column of my blog, I have an online technique club button. Right-hand column of my blog, www.estampabub.com. You can go check that out. There's all the details are right there for it. So let me put this back and I will set this aside because I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of those cards I have to make. Hi Jay, hi Linda, welcome. Okay, so um, I promised this week that I would do a double giveaway because um, maybe for some of you that are tuning in, you don't know this, but um, Facebook deleted two of my Facebook Live videos and they were the last two so I couldn't go back and look and see who did this, who left a comment, who did this right here. I can't say those words anymore. Um, so I couldn't award prizes. So from last week's, that was two weeks ago that happened that they deleted my stuff. But from last week's, I um, picked two in my categories. So let me tell you who won. Um, I didn't see her come in on here yet, so I'm not sure if you're watching. But for S H A R I N G ing, okay, somebody just asked a question there that I missed, and I am sorry. Oh, Chris says you look so skinny. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, oh, are those big stamp cases in the new book? Well, let me look because I have it right here and let's see if it says stamp there's storage stamp cases yes they are oh wait 182 hang on let me check for sure to make sure yes the full wide cases are in the new catalog on page 182 and um, Chris thank you so much for saying that I look so thin um, I am down, I was down 26 pounds, but now I'm at 25. But I have to tell you, I was pretty excited about that because I went out to eat three days in a row this week while my mom was here. Oh, hi, Sylvia. I'm so glad you're catching me for the first time. So, yes, Danielle, Danielle you can do um, lives on YouTube. I've never done it, so it's something I'm going to try. Oh, look at how dumb my hair is. Let's fix that. Okay, we don't want dumb hair. Um, I'm backwards on my camera here. Hang on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How about we'll do that? That's better. Um, <laughs> yeah, so anyways, um, I went out to eat three days in a row this week. And um, the first night I had a great big hamburger. And I take the top bun off and just eat the rest of it. So that's pretty good for carbs, right? And then the second night... I had a grilled chicken salad that was very good at the Mad Apple on College Avenue in town. And yes, Pat, I will give advance notice when I'm going to be on live. I'll put it on my Facebook page on when I'm going to be live on YouTube. I'll also um, advertise it so you'll get it. If you're on my newsletter list, you'll get it. So, And then, um, let's see, back to food. Then we went to Who Hot on Saturday night and that was wonderful and of course I get the zucchini noodles so it's very low carb for me so I only um, gained back one pound that I had lost during the week so I was pretty happy about that and did you guys see my supper tonight 
I'm feeling so full and satisfied right now. Um, I found this Alfredo sauce that's only 50 calories for a quarter cup. And I couldn't believe it because I love creamy stuff, you know. And it's always so fattening. Ugh. But anyways, um, yay. Oh, yay. Jody's down 4.8 pounds. Jody is doing the same Optavia program that I'm doing. Congratulations, Jody. I'm excited for you. So I just had supper. I had shrimp Alfredo and I used riced cauliflower, which honestly, you guys, I've, I've had that before, but not like this. It didn't taste any different than rice. So do you have any Pepsi when you are eating out? No, I didn't, Megan. So here's what I do. I have iced tea, unsweetened, and then I keep a bottle of stevia in my purse, a little tiny travel bottle, and I squirt a couple squirts in there because I really love my sweet. And so if Bev is watching, she's my coach, I do sweeten things a little bit. It's called Optavia, Sylvia, O-P-T-A-V-I-A, -A, and um, it's working fabulous. And Karen loves rice cauliflower. Me too. Um, I, I was going to tell you guys what the brand of Alfredo sauce was. And I looked at the jar, and now I've forgotten. Enrico, Enrico, it was in the organic aisle at my grocery store, Festival Foods. And all I did was turn it around and look at it. It's only got like three or four grams of carbs and 50 calories. And it was in a little jar, a little jar like this. And it says, um, made with real cream. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, Megan, my dinner was so good. I couldn't believe it. So, anyways, let's get back to the, to the prizes. <laughs> <gasps> Squirrel. <laughs> okay. Um, for S H A R I N G ing, we have Lisa Meyer of Austin, Texas. And Lisa, you are going to be winning this Biddy Blooms Punch Pack. So I've got a whole set of punches coming out to you. Yay! And then, so I said I was going to double the prizes this week because of the snafu last week. Connie Billerman, let me see, where is your gift? Right here. Connie Billerman is going to get the delightfully detailed note cards and envelopes. So this is a whole pack of note cards with envelopes. Con oh, uh, Lisa is in Austin, Texas. Connie is in Raleigh, North Carolina. So congratulations to you two. And then for the C-O-M-M-E-N-T-S. I don't know if I can't say that word or not. I'm just so confused right now. I feel like I'm kind of in Facebook jail. Um, but I have two winners for that. And that would be... Cindy Fenward of Coos Bay, Oregon, you are going to get a set of the Regals 6x6 Designer Series paper. Yay! And um, Debbie Foster of Bismarck, Arkansas, you are going to get the Garden Impressions 6x6 Designer Series paper. And then last week I was able to award for um, orders. So I'm, I have only one of those this week. I didn't need to double up on that. But I've got Marianne Reese of Largo, Florida. All that you are is coming your way. Woo! So Cindy just said she had a really hard time getting to this Facebook Live. Yes, yeah, Cindy, I think I'm going to start going live on YouTube. It's not that I'm going to not go live on Facebook anymore. Don't get me wrong, because we don't just shut down one thing and start another. We have to transition into it to see how it works, whether it's going to be good for you guys, whether it's going to be, work out for me. So don't worry about that. But I will let everybody know what's happening with that. And, you know, I, I don't know. You know, Facebook, you made me mad. <laughs> it's not good when Kelly's mad. It takes a lot to make me mad. And I'll tell you, I was pretty frazzled, um, wasting three hours of my life this morning that I can never get back because of a stupid S and a HTTP is just absolutely ridiculous. So whatever, rant over, glass is half full. Let's move on to happy things. <laughs> All right, so let me move these prizes and set them someplace where I will not lose them because I have to tell you guys, my office is a mess. It is just a mess <laughs> and I need to get it cleaned up. But I have stamp clubs this week and all kinds of stuff going on. Oh, which speaking of, if anybody's not comfortable ordering on um, my online store, I know some people just have a hard time on the internet. I have orders going in every Thursday, and I would be happy to place the order for you. Just contact me in a private message. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to earn your business and put the orders in for you. I have no problem doing that. 
And um, likewise, if you don't have a demonstrator and you would like our current catalog, just let me know. Pop me an instant message. Don't forget to give me your address when you do that, though, because, you know, playing 20 questions, is it gets kind of time consuming. And I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but when somebody sends me a message and says, yes, I would love a catalog, I need your address. <laughs> so put it right in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the problem, Stephanie, is that Facebook won't tell you what the problem is. And I have um, put in a... Um, a report this issue ticket like I don't know how many of them I put in I was so like crabby about it that I just kept typing them and saying now this is happening and now that's happening so whatever I can't do anything about it I'm not gonna waste any more energy and I hate negative energy right we need to be happy and positive because we're gonna stamp okay did I miss anything I have my Stamping Society blog hop coming up on Wednesday. It's the first time I just got invited into this group. I was super excited to be invited into this group because I wanted to get into one of these groups um, for a long time. And I just felt like getting that invitation to be part of this tutorial group, I felt like oh, I just made it. <laughs> so that's really fun. That's coming on my blog on Wednesday. And then, um, so that's going to kind of mess up my schedule this week. Um, the Stamping Society posts their blog hop on the first of every month, which happens to be on a Wednesday. So um, this Wednesday um, will not be my uh, wait what video and joke of the week. I'm going to post that on Tuesday, which means the stuff we're making tonight that I usually post on Tuesday is going on Monday. So let me start again. Monday, I'm going to post everything we're making tonight so you can see photographs and all the dimensions will be listed there. Tuesday is going to be my, wait, what? Tip of the week video with my joke of the week. And if you guys don't check that out, you need to because it's funny. I get so many good comments from that. People saying, oh my gosh, thanks for that giggle today. Or, or I just love Wednesdays because I get to read your joke or whatever. So I always post a joke on Wednesdays on my blog with my, wait, what? Tip video. And then Wednesday will be the Stamping Society blog hop. And that's the one where um, I'm going to share a project with you and a video. And then anybody who places an order with me um, in the month of May, $25 or more, is going to get an exclusive tutorial with six projects in it and six exclusive videos to show you how to make those projects. And we're using, oh, I forgot to tell you that, we are using the Tea Together bundle of products so so pretty these are so pretty okay so don't forget to do this if you're just coming on all three of those do that yeah do this and I always love this too <laughs> Kathy says she loves my joke of the week thank you Kathy I do too I love finding them I've got a whole bunch of them saved now sometimes I'm scrambling for jokes so if you guys find any funny clean jokes I get a lot of not clean jokes which I love don't get me wrong but I cannot share those on my blog um, I don't I, I think I had the word penis in a joke one time and some people found that offensive so I need to kind of be careful about that but you know it is just a body part okay are we ready to stamp I think we are First of all, oh, I know what I'm going to do first here. Okay, I'm going to unload my basket and keep talking to you. And Vicki says that the Tea Together set is gorgeous. Yeah, it certainly is. So I have something. I've never done this for my Facebook Live, so I've got something to share with you here. I'm going to show you how I did this because this is just so incredibly, oh, i got little stray hairs in my face, so incredibly beautiful and easy that I wanted to share it with you. So, are we ready to flip? I'm ready to flip my camera. All right, I'll try to monitor your questions, but if you ask a question and you don't get an answer from me, ask it again. <laughs> Vicki says she doesn't have a bra on and she's in her 90s, so stamp on. Good for you. I do have a bra on because, like, I'm in public. <laughs> don't worry, though. I won't last long. <laughs> okay. For those of you that get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll let you know when you can open them when I am done wiggling this camera around and get it set up. And, oops, we got some glare going on here. Hang on just a second, guys. I gotta fix my mirroring and take that off so you can read what I'm gonna do here. 
And that looks straight. Okay, open your eyes. Surprise. <laughs> um, hang on, my thing won't go away. What's happening? There we go. Okay, here we go. So I have my paper pumpkin kit. And I have a lot of subscribers with Paper Pumpkin. This kit is so much fun. I absolutely love it. But um, I wanted to show this one to you because I just thought it was so elegant and gorgeous. And I've got a really easy card to show you. So let me take, I'm going to take a piece of white paper. This is the stamp set this month. Let me see. Am I in the frame? Yes. This is the stamp set this month, and it has thank you, happy birthday, thinking of you, congratulations for you, happy Mother's Day, best wishes. I mean, you've got it all in here with these beautiful, distinctive images. And distinctive means that they look like they're real, like it looks like you took a photograph of a flower. They're so, so pretty. So this particular kit is called Sentimental Rose. And um, with each kit, you get this cute little box. Everything comes wrapped in tissue paper, just like you've just gotten the best piece of jewelry from Tiffany's, right? I love that, too. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And, whoops, hang on. You also get this instruction sheet. So you've got step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It tells you exactly what Stampin' Up! intends for you to make with the contents of the kit. The only thing that you need to add to the kit are your scissors and your adhesive, whatever you choose to use. Your first kit actually even comes with a block to mount your stamp on, so that's pretty cool. But this particular kit, hang on a second, this particular kit was just so beautiful. And um, everything is neatly packaged. Look at all these pretty things. You get dimensionals, we've got some baker's twine. Um, an ink spot in gray granite. We've got these pretty little labels. These are all die cut. I'm going to use one of these, so I'm going to take that out right away. Um, we've got some corrugated cardboard, so that's really pretty. I'm going to use that also. This one actually is a whole set of cards with a one of um, a clear adhesive box, and this is smaller than our other ones because these are note cards and envelopes. And so there's just a whole bunch of really cool things in here. And here we go, distinctive. So yeah, so, so pretty. Now next month's kit, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Don't let me forget. Um, so we've got all these beautiful, beautiful things in here. Here's some of the layers for the card, and I'm going to be using one of these too, but I really loved these pretty layers. Isn't that just pretty? All the envelopes are printed on the inside. Look at that. So, so pretty. So in this kit, this kit is meant to be quick and easy. And while it's um, created for people who maybe don't have a lot of supplies, it's also made for people who like to do fast stamping. Everything's cut for you or it's die cut or whatever. So I'm going to show you quickly here just what I made with my kit. And by the way, I share a blog hop every month with alternate ideas using the monthly kit. So that's really fun. There's like 20 of us. You can hop from blog to blog and see other ideas using this month's kit. The other thing that I provide for my subscribers, when you subscribe for me or anybody on my team, if you're one of my discount shoppers or business builders, you get this benefit too. I share... Um, a PDF file that I email out to my subscribers and post on my team page. Um, 15 different ideas, different than what's in the blog hop, ideas using the Paper Pumpkin Kit of the Month. So you get a gazillion ideas for what to do with it. Okay, let's keep going here. Now, I am going to take this layer. This is pre-printed. It came in the kit. And I'm going to grab my Mint Macron ink pad and the leaf image. Do I know the number of that kit? You can't order this kit, Jane. Um, you have to be a subscriber by the 10th of the month. So you would have had to subscribe by April 10th to get this kit. And the reason why I'm telling you this is if you subscribe before May 10th, you're going to get next month's kit. And I'm going to show you one of the cards out of it that is so beautiful. So great question, and no, Jean, you cannot get this kit. Paper Pumpkin is a, um, a surprise in the mail every month, and 
while paper, and the best part is Paper Pumpkin subscribers, once you're a subscriber, you can then order refills for the kit if they're available. Um, but if you're not a subscriber, you can't order refills either. So, all right, so I'm just gonna stamp my leaves right there. I'm gonna stamp another one right here and another one right here. And I love that these are photopolymers so you can see through them and see where you're placing, right? So then this little corrugated layer came with the kit also. And I'm going to add this layer to the corrugated layer. And I just thought it was a really interesting look. Yes, Tisha, I have a blog hop. It, we just had it on Thursday. So if you go to my blog, just scroll down to you see. It's called a paper pumpkin thing blog hop and you will see it. It is fabulous. Okay, so we've got this done. Now I've got a piece of um, powder pink. This is one of our retiring colors. And I've got, this is five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna burnish that edge good. And then I'm gonna bring in my powder pink ink also retiring so make sure you get your hands on these or get your reinkers or order an extra pack of um cardstock in that color we also have the beautiful ruffled ribbon in powder pink which is also retiring you guys the markers are retiring the whole enchilada all right so i'm going to take this and stamp this flower and look at how gorgeous that is that's our distinctive images this is a um, type of image from Stampin' Up! that they are getting, I don't know, copyrighted maybe is the word. But as far as I know, nobody else is doing this. They bring in um, a flower and photograph it and then make it into a stamp to look very realistic. Now I've also got a layer of four by five and a quarter. Um, Whisper White here and I'm just going to bring in this flower and stamp it in the corner and look how pretty that is. Isn't it just so pretty? All right. Oh, and hmm, hang on. I need my memento ink and this little label. Now I chose my green for my leaves based on this label. This is mint macaron. It's already got that printed on there. So then I chose mint macaron for my leaves. And I'm just going to take my Memento ink pad, and you could stamp any of the greetings that are in here. Okay, you could do Happy Mother's Day for you. Um, the Thinking of You won't fit in there. Best Wishes will fit in there. This would make a beautiful wedding card, but I always need thank you cards. And here I come. There we go. That turned out great. Whew. Winning. Okay. Oh, look, I had a memento ink pad here. I just didn't see it. Silly me. All right, so now let me close these up so I don't make a disastrous mess. Oh, you know what? I need an envelope. And I have envelopes right here. And I thought, how pretty would it be to stamp up the flap on my envelope? So I'll show you how I do that. I take my envelope. First of all, I take a piece of um, printer paper and I fold it kind of uneven like this and then slide it in here like this. And we're gonna bring in this beautiful, I don't know, this is, um, well, it's a rose, I guess. Isn't it? What's it called? Sentimental rose, it is a rose, but it's more like a wild rose, I think, right? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then this. And a little edge there. Maybe another one right over here, and look at how pretty that is. And you know what? I love this enough that I want it on the front, too. Because why not? Look at that. Beautiful envelope. Okay, so now we're going to put this together. All I have added to this card is an inside layer and the card base, right? This and this. Everything else... Oh, and I added a couple inks. And we all have inks, right? So, yeah. We're going to add this right in here. There we go. And then I'm going to take this little layer, and I'm going to add this to the front of my card. I'm going to kind of pop it up in the top left corner. So I've got the same margin here 
in here and that's just kind of something different, right? Now I'm going to take the dimensionals that actually come with the kit. I mean, you don't even need dimensionals if you need mini glue dots for the kit. They'll have those in there. Everything's in there. I'm going to add my dimensionals. And I use a lot on here because I'm going to put some baker's twine under there. And I don't want my label to be like tippy if I get it um, stuck on that baker's twine, right? I want it to stick to my card front. Otherwise, it'll stick to the baker's twine and kind of flop around. And you know me. I don't like the floppy thing going on. Okay, here we go. Where in the blog hop, hang on a second. Where in the blog hop name again? Where do I look for it? Oh, it's on my blog, Becky. It's www.estampabub.com. And you're going to just keep scrolling down my blog when you get there and look for a paper pumpkin thing blog hop. It's a black banner that says a paper pumpkin thing blog hop and you'll find the blog hop or if you go on my Facebook page I post it it would be on there Thursday the link to it you guys know that I take everything on my blog and post it to Facebook right okay so here's one two three and I'm just gonna cut this long enough so I can have a nice bow here here we go. Let's see how good Kelly can do with the bow. Not so good. <laughs> Didn't do too good there. Let's try that again. It's a lot of pressure to tie a bow in front of all of you. You guys know that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. If you got somebody who can bring their finger in and help you out, go for it. Use them. Oh, that looks like crud. I always tell you guys that I tie a knot in my bow, so let's do that. Um, tie a knot first, and then you don't have to worry about it staying tight, right? Oh, my goodness, look at that. Mm, right on my naughty finger. <laughs> did I say that? I did. All right. Here we go. You're going to be like, well, I watched this lady do the stamping thing, and everything else went fine except she couldn't tie a simple little bow. So, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, make sure you hang on to those tails when you're adjusting your bow so it doesn't get all twisted up. And there's our cute little bow, and here comes our greeting. And I'm going to put that about half on and half off of my pretty layer and see how I got that to stick down because I put a gazillion dimensionals on it. So what do you guys think of that? I just thought this was absolutely stunning and gorgeous, right? Like, holy cow. Now let's talk about paper pumpkin. Shelly is co, um, what do they call her? She started the company with her sister, LaVon. So, um, and Shelly owns it exclusively now. Her daughter, Sarah, is running it. This is Shelly. She is the most wonderful, down-to-earth person ever. She helped create the kit that's coming out in May, okay? And Shelly loves things that are very earthy and um, kind of vintage-looking. This is one of the cards from the May kit. And is that not just incredibly beautiful? The envelope is gorgeous. The card is fantastic. This is going to be the May, one of the items in the May kit. At least that's the way I understand it. Now remember, we don't get to see these kits ahead of time, so I'm just going by what I heard. And um, if you would like to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you're going to go to mypaperpumpkin.com, and then you're going to choose me as your demonstrator if you don't have one, okay? But I highly recommend it. It's going to be incredibly beautiful. And um, I can't hardly wait. So let me get this stuff out of the way here. What did you guys think? Yeah, pretty cool, right? Did I miss any questions? How much does the kit run? Um, it's around $20. I don't know the exact price. But it's around $20. Bucks. And here's the deal. You can prepay. You can go right to my Stampin' Up! store. And um, there's an online ordering button in the right-hand column. Go to my blog, look for the online ordering button, click in there. You can do a search for paper pumpkin, and you'll find all the paper pumpkin stuff. But the other thing 
You can subscribe on a monthly basis by going to mypaperpumpkin.com. Or you can buy a one month, a three month, a six month, or a 12 month prepaid subscription. Whatever works for you. Okay, here's some other things in case you missed that blog hop. By the way, Becky, if you're looking through my blog for that blog hop, this is the project that I shared on there. And this was one of the note cards included in the kit. And I just stamped the flowers right on that cute little print. This is my Happy Mother's Day card. Stamped one inside and then I put a gray and a berry burst layer behind that card. And then there's more. Ooh, there's more. I made this. And this is one of the little matchbooks that I shared last week on my Wait What Wednesday tip video where I kind of got my butt chewed. <laughs> so let me explain. <laughs> so I shared a video last Wednesday on my tip video saying that um, where you score and then which way you fold your cardstock once you've scored it doesn't matter. With Stampin' Up! cardstock, it doesn't matter. But um, where the problem came in is people told me that other cardstocks, it does matter. If your cardstock happens to be thicker, it matters. And if your cardstock has a white inside and a colored outside, I guess it matters. So my apologies, but I just assumed that everybody would know I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I don't use other cardstocks. I only use Stampin' Up! cardstock. So I've corrected myself. Whew. Okay, now this little jewel is a matchbook. And look what it has inside of it. <gasps> One of my Ghirardellis from Mary Olson. She gave me a whole bag of them for, Chris or for Christmas, for Easter, which made it like Christmas, right? So, and I'm happy to say I have not eaten this yet. <laughs> But anyways, this is the project that I shared. And on all on that blog hop, everybody has to do a card and a 3D item. This was my 3D item. So there you go. All right. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade um, calorie burner drink from Optavia. This is supposed to... I, I'm assuming that it like increases my metabolism, but it has caffeine in it. And that could be why, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm wiggling my phone. That could be why I talk like 500 miles an hour. But I do love my caffeine, so. All right, I'm going to bring in the next card, which is super duper cute. While we're waiting, don't forget to do this. Yeah. We're just going to smile about that. Oh, we got Coke Zero, water water you guys are so good water i drank many glasses of water so this is what my coach told me like you need water to flush your system which i just never really paid much attention to that before but she said the water flushes your system so on all those days when i was eating out the next day like the last three days that my mom was here the next day i would drink many glasses of water and I think she's right because I, you know, I only am back up one pound and I ate out three nights in a row. So, holy cow. I was pretty happy about that. Okay, I got my little dimensions here. And here comes the loot. I think you guys are going to love this. I've got an envelope. A card out here. This is a super, super cute card. Ice Passion Tea. That sounds good. What's Wendy drinking? Cindy just said, I want what Wendy's drinking. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, here comes all my bits and pieces. And I got to get out my little bit, so hang on here. I don't want to lose anything. Okay, what a weird color combination, right? So this week Wednesday on my tip video, I am sharing with you a color, com a color combination generator, and I think it's going to change your world. That's on my, wait, what? Tip video on Wednesday. Make sure you check it out because it's going to be really cool. Okay. Cindy said she ate out too, but she made good choices. I made pretty good choices too, except for that cheeseburger the first night. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world to eat, but the rest of them were pretty good. We have a card base of, oh, wait, this is the wrong instructions or dimensions. This is the dimensions I need. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm like, oh, that's not right. We have pool party, four and a quarter by 11. And I have taken it and I've scored it at five and a half and eight and a quarter. So we're gonna fold that in half. 
And before we fold that second score line, we're going to do some stamping. So I have, oh, where's my stamp sets? I have the stitched all around stamp set. And I'm pretty sure this is retiring. Yes. So this is a beautiful stamp set. It comes with a set of dies. I'm using the Oh Darling, You Are. Fabulous. Okay, so, oh yeah, my Wednesday video, which is going to be on Tuesday this week. Thank you so much, Ellen. Um, I usually have a video every Wednesday, but this week it's going to be Tuesday because I have my schedules kind of messed up. So thank you for reminding me of that. I completely forgot. Oh, thank goodness I have people keeping me in line. Um, pool Party Ink. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this, oh darling, you are fabulous. And I like to start like someplace right around here. Okay, Pool Party Ink on Pool Party cardstock. And we're going to do one of my favorite little things here, and that is to stamp up the background and make our own like designer series paper. And you notice I'm just alternating where I'm stamping. So here I'm going to stamp in the middle, in between these two underneath. So here comes this one. And then you just stamp on each side. And then this one I'm going to stamp here in the middle of those two and here in the middle of those two. And voila, I have like the coolest background, right? Okay, next thing we're going to do is we have some scraps of Berry Burst. And here comes my sunglasses. Nope, I'm not my sunglasses yet. I need my pocket. Oh, by the way, <laughs> yeah. I'm using the Pocket Full of Sunshine stamp set and the Pocket Framelits. This stamp set is retiring. The framelits are not because there's another stamp set coming out in the new catalog that matches these framelits. But this is retiring. So I thought, gosh, I have to tell people that and make sure they know. So if you want to get the stamp set before it's gone, you know, before June, uh, by June 3rd, then you'll have this stamp set, and then you can get the next one in the new catalog, so you'll have everything. Okay, Berry Burst Ink. Oh, Stitched All Around is not retiring. Thank you so much, Lou Ellen. I appreciate that. I thought it was. Oh, and Kathy said the same thing. Oh, yeah, so that's one of those that I messed up because it was bundled. Yeah, okay, you guys, Stitched All Around not retiring. That's good because I love this. Oh, darling, you are fabulous. That's my favorite stamp out of there. So here comes the pocket. And of course, we've got the little stitching around there that makes it look like a really cute little denim pocket. I'm just going to stamp this right here. And then we have the Levi's. That's what I always call it, stitching. And we're going to stamp that right here. And then with the pocket full of sunshine, we have You Dazzle Me. So we're going to stamp that right on that pocket. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And we're going to die cut. Now, you need to die cut two of these, but you only need one stamp. So we're going to die cut this one. And before we do that, we're also going to stamp our sunglasses. And I've got Versamark ink here. Yeah, Sylvia, the retirement list is, was very confusing, and I hope that they don't do something like that again. <laughs> uh, lesson learned, right? Because it was like, oh my lord, what is happening here? It looked like everything was retiring. Okay. Here comes my sunglasses in Versamark ink. Now, we're going to make sure that we get these ink pads out of the way because we're going to use embossing powder, and you know how I feel about getting embossing powder in my ink pads. Not happy when that happens. I've got our black embossing powder, and this is really fine embossing powder, meaning it's a super fine powder. And that did that went really well. I'm going to dump this back in here and get this out of my way before I get powder everywhere because I'm kind of messy like that. I'm kind of a messy stamper, I think. Hang on. Okay, here we go. So we have this. We are going to heat set this. Oh my goodness, until we have that, okay? 
So we've got, we've got black embossed sunglasses that I've already die cut. Okay, then we're gonna die cut this pocket, and we're also gonna take another scrap and die cut a pocket that is not stamped. And when we get done doing that, we're gonna have this, okay? And then what I want you to do is take your paper snips, and these pockets have tabs on them. Okay, so you can fold this over. Okay, and these tabs on the one that we didn't stamp, we're just gonna trim those off. And you wanna kinda trim inside your um, score lines. So if this pocket is just a tad smaller than the pocket we stamped, that's good. That's exactly fine. So there we go. We've got that going on. And then we're gonna glue these two together. So I wanna make sure that I'm burnishing these edges really good on my pocket. And then add in the glue. Did you like that, you guys? I'm a little delayed on my laptop where I can see your comments coming in. Um, it's a little delayed for me, so sometimes it takes me a bit to see what you're, what you're typing up or when you click those L-I-K-E button or the this button. I feel like that just sounds so dumb. Or the this button. Okay, so here we go mini glue dot and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on the front of my left lens maybe there we go so I have a mini glue dot right here we're going to take that and tuck it in just like this okay I don't want my I don't want my glasses going any place so they're stuck inside my pocket okay then um, where did my, did you see rhinestones right here? Okay, so here's all my rhinestones. And I'm really loving my, um, take your pick tool. Because we're going to take all these rhinestones, we're going to start right in the middle. And we're going to add a gazillion little rhinestones to this pocket. Until we get here. Oh, I did this wrong. Holy Moses. Okay, so I was supposed to wait and not put this pocket on the back of that one. Oh, look at that. It's not quite dry yet. Whew. Can I say I just saved my little hiney? Let's try that again. Add a little glue here. Because I didn't want to take the time to put all the rhinestones on the pocket while you're sitting here watching me. So instead, I'm going to have to redo the pocket like I'm doing right now. <laughs> wow, Kelly, that was brilliant. <laughs> Oh, whatever, right? Yeah, close those inks. Ellen's getting nervous. I know, right, Ellen? Let me just move them out of the way. I totally get what you're saying. Okay, so I lost my mini glue dot in the other pocket. So we'll try this again. Let's see if this time Kelly's going to do it the way she wanted it done. Okay, so we've got our little mini glue dot on our left lens there. And we're going to... We're going to poke it in there. Sometimes this series of things, it just escapes me. <laughs> All right. Our pocket's sticking together nicely. We've got a gazillion. What do you guys think of that bling? Huh? Yeah. So, so pretty. Now, I'm making this card. I already have one made, and I need another one to send to one of my besties. So I've got two besties, and I need to make this, ca this other card for the other one because I have a gift to share with them. Okay, so we've got this going on. Now, where's the rest of my layers? Right here. So here comes the rest of my layers. Um, oh, here's my envelope. I was like, what's that for? Then I've got a whisper white layer here that's four by five and a quarter, standard size, and some of our subtle six by six designer series paper. All of these are retiring, you guys, and I can't tell you how great it is to have these at your fingertips when you need just a little bit of designer paper and you want it to match your cardstock. So this piece right here is one and a quarter by four and I am going to leave a little bit of a white margin at the bottom here. 
just like that. Okay. And then I've got a strip of, oh, we can put this inside. Let's put this inside. Inside a beautiful card. See, doesn't that look nice with those po polka dots in there, the same color? I was like, oh, I need something, but I didn't really have designer series paper that would work in bright colors or whatever. So I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect. Okay, now we have this little jewel. Um, this little piece is 5 eighths, so 5 eighths by 5 and a half. And then I've scored it at 5 eighths, 1 inch, four and an eighth and four and a half. And don't worry about those numbers because as soon as my Facebook Live is done, I post this video to my Facebook page, which is where you are right now. And I have already typed up these dimensions for all of these cards tonight. And I will paste them into the description above the video. So you can go back to them right away. And then tomorrow morning will be the pictures of all the cards with the dimensions and a shopping list on my blog. Okay, so I just flagged the ends of this piece. Whoops. And now I'm going to bring in Bermuda Bay. And Ellen, I think I am done with these colors, so I'm going to close them up now so Ellen does not have a panic attack. Those are no fun. Okay. Now... I pulled out, I pulled from a lot of different stamp sets. Um, the Well Said set is carrying over into the big catalog. And um, I'm going to use the best thing about today is you. I just needed a long greeting, so any greeting will work just fine. I'm using Bermuda Bay ink. And let's see if I can get this straight. Yeah, but it's too close to the bottom, right? So because I knew that this was hard to do, look at Look at, I really saved myself here. We'll see if I can actually get it straight and on here in three more tries. So I'm centering it. That's really crooked. <laughs> I told you guys, this was really hard. That's a little crooked. Didn't I, didn't I stamp one of these up already? I thought I did. Let's turn this one over. We'll try again. Yeah. So, the struggle's real. I know sometimes you guys think that everything just goes perfect for me, but it really doesn't. And here comes the next one. <laughs> and that one looks really good. So, one, two, three, four. Fifth one's a charm. <laughs> and we have to flag those ends again. So, I should have waited to do that till after I snapped, right? Do the, do the tricky part first and don't waste any time flagging these ends until you get that stamped on there straight. Because sometimes that's really challenging, as you well know, and you just saw. See, those are the kind of things that oftentimes I'll cut out of my YouTube videos because number one, um, it's not so much that I don't want it, you to see me having problems or making mistakes. It's more about the time that I just took to do that four times, right? That's what it's about. And you want to keep your YouTube videos as short as you possibly can. Okay, here we go. Now, I do have a scrap of Whisper White somewheres. Should have been in here, and I'm not seeing it, so let me grab one. Here comes a little, little scrap. Okay, I am going to take... Oh, look at Ellen. I should have left my berry burst open. I'm going to take this. This is like a little Levi's tag for your pants, for your pocket. And then I need this one open. And I'm gonna use the little thanks here. And I've, I've mounted my thanks and my heart on the same stamp. I'm just gonna ink up my thanks and see if I can get it. Oh, that looks really good, except I want something next to it. So let's try that again. This is gonna be the night where Kelly shows you her true colors. <laughs> Okay, so I need to turn this around because I want my thanks to go this way. I'm going to put it over here in the corner. That looks better. And then I'm going to clean this off and ink up that heart in pool party. And I'm going to put that right here. You know, I think it would actually be better if it was in um, Bermuda Bay, but whatever. Okay, uh, whatever works for you. Here comes the little tag. There's actually a tag associated with this that you're going to 
put on here and you're going to die cut that little tag out and holy moses i already have one just like total magic it's a lot of magic happening here tonight <laughs> okay hang on ellen and her we don't want her to no i'm just teasing you ellen i hope you appreciate that um, I don't know Ellen has panic attacks or not, so please don't think that of her. We don't want any rumors going. We're not spreading rumors tonight. There's no judging here, right? Okay, so look what I just did on those score lines. I just folded them like this. And so um, here's what I found. I put some glue on these pieces and glued them down on my first attempt at this card, and it didn't go well. So what I came up with instead is to put some dimensionals on the back of this little banner. Make sure you hold down your folded sides so that you're not interfering with them. Because that happened to me too. You, you guys can't even imagine how many times I made this part of the card right here. It was just like, really, Kelly? And now we're going to bring this in. We didn't put anything on these tabs that are sticking up. And don't forget, I'll give you all these measurements and scoring, but I really love this idea for the um, banner that's going to go right here inside my card. And I'm just going to center it and look at that. It fits perfectly. Okay, next, where did our pocket go? Right here. We're going to bring in this little um, tag for our pocket and add a little bit of glue to the left side. Oh, hang on. Cheapers. Oops. <laughs> and you guys might have noticed that Steve is not on tonight. He is actually at a birthday party. His grandson turned 15, or he does, on um, May 1st. So, yeah, he's at a birthday party tonight. Okay, so here's our cute little pocket. Now, remember that score line we have in the middle right here? We're going to take that and... Thank you, Cindy. Cindy says, I'm loving that card. We're going we're gonna to fold on that score line. And now we're going to take this pocket. Oh, crud, I just blew it. Hang on. Hang on. I'm just going to wipe my glue off. Watch as I spit on my Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. We're going to be okay. And you're going to only put glue on half of this, okay? Only on half of it. Don't put glue up here. I just saved myself, I think. And now I'm going to just center this on my card. And look at this. Here is our, whoops, it's kind of hard to hold it up. But here is our cute little easel card. And it says, you dazzle me. Oh, darling, you are fabulous. And the best thing about today is you. And I'm going to send, um, I've got two of these now. I'm going to send them to my besties with a little gift. I got them a gift when we were in Minneapolis, only it didn't show up in the mail on time. So it just came in. <clears throat> so I have to mail it to them. And this is the card that's going to go with the little gift. It's just a little bracelet that I found. So what do you guys think? We're not done yet. We're going to have some fun with the envelope because I think these cards need a fun envelope. And let me clean off my sunglasses because I had Versamark ink on those. And we're going to get out the Berry Burst again. And we're going to close that. Do this. Oop, there's a piece of my hair right there for all the world. Okay. And... I'm going to ink up my sunglasses in Berry Burst, and I'm just going to do this. And that wasn't enough for me, so I decided to do that. And then this wasn't enough either, so I just kept going crazy. And I see I kind of, I'll have to restamp these, but, oh, you know what? Maybe I can, let's see how good I am. I'm going to get my head in here a little bit. No, I screwed it up, but I'll restamp this. <clears throat> Here's what a good envelope looks like where you don't have any problems. What do you guys think? Is that not going to be the cutest thing going in the mail? Yeah. I love it. Okay. We have another card to make. This next one is quick and easy. 
you're gonna love it. You guys know that I absolutely adore making fun folds, right? Like that's what I love to do. So that's what I like to show you guys. And you may have already seen this fun fold, but I always like to get all the new ideas because each fun fold, even though it might be the same fold, the whole card part is a little different. And I just love to see what people are making with those. So hang tight as I put all this stuff away. And let's see. Put this over here. Don't forget to do this. Clean up my little mess here. Don't forget to put the lid back on your take your pick tool for the putty end. You don't want that to dry out. I'm gonna put all this back and this back. This and this and this. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape here, you guys. I'll put this pocket away because I can I can make another card, right? And then where's my another I have another bin. Here we go. Here comes the bin. I can put my directions away. I shouldn't say directions, it's just dimensions. I don't write up directions, that would be so tedious. And the other thing I need to do, you guys, is take my little jacket off, because I'm <sighs> getting really hot in here. Whew. Okay, here comes a whole bunch of colorful fun. And what stamp set are we using for what? The card that I just made here? That was the sunshine, uh, pocket full of sunshine, and then the stitches one called stitched all around, and then for this I used well said. Is that what you were asking? Oh, great. Thank you, Lisa Vanden Elsen. Somebody's helping. No one will answer me. She's not going to answer you or me. There's 300 people in here. Oh, who? Christine, who are you talking about? I do try to answer questions. But sometimes I miss them. They scroll up on my screen and then I miss them. So I, I don't, they're not there anymore. If I do miss questions, just ask me again. Be relentless because I want to answer all your questions. That's why I'm here and I'm live, right? So just ask again. Say, hey, Kelly, blah, blah, blah. And um, <laughs> don't say blah, 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 but you know. Okay, so for this one, I'm bringing out one of my all-time favorites. This is the Bubble Over Bundle, and this was actually in our Occasions catalog last year. It is retiring, and it's really one of my favorites. I love this bundle of um, goodness, right? It's good for man cards, very good for man cards. Um, we've, got the, we've got the Have a Birthday Brew. You can make these into bottles of beer. Um, you can make these into bottles of soda. You can make these bottles anything you need them to be. I love the little bubbles in here. And then all the framelits that go with it. One of the neat things I really like is that there's two straws in here. And they're the bendy straws, right? So you can cut out two straws at a time. There's tons of little bottle caps in here. That's really nice. So you don't have to like cut one through your big shot and then cut two. And you can cut out a whole bunch at once. So let me set these back in here and bring out my cardstock. Here we go. Yeah, is this not colorful and beautiful? I love it. Here's an envelope. And then I need my scrap of white and then my little goodies. Hang on, I got things sticking in the bag. One more thing sticking in the bag. Oh, thank you, Deborah said, Kelly, you do a great job keeping up with questions while crafting. It's a little tricky, I have to tell you. <laughs> like, if you can imagine the challenge and trying to look over there at my computer and keep my focus on so I figure know what I'm doing here, it's, it's a little tricky, but I love it. So, okay, I have some beautiful colors here tonight. We are using Melon Mambo, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, and pineapple punch and it took me a while to warm up to pineapple punch but I'm really starting to like it a lot so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the smaller of the two beer or soda bottles we're all adults here tonight I think so I'm going to call them beer bottles but they're really going to be soda on the card so I've got oh my gosh isn't that just like whoo shocking and then I'm going to grab my granny apple green 
and I'm going to stamp the bigger bottle. And again, I'm just stamping this on a scrap of Whisper White. Here comes the bigger bottle. Yay! And let me put those away. Then I'm gonna bring in this little layer. Now this layer is for the center of our card and it is two and three quarters by four. I'm going to grab my gorgeous grape and the greeting that comes in this set, may your day bubble over with happiness. Now, as I was making this card, I was like, is this gonna be a birthday card? Is this, what is this gonna be? And actually it's just gonna be a card I can send to anybody. Not a birthday, but I could put happy birthday in here if I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna leave it so that I can put anything I want on it. The other thing I'm gonna do here is bring in my pineapple. Again, pineapple punch, and look at these cute, make sure you're turning them around so they look really random. Cute little bubbles coming in here. Like this would be the bubbles of the carbonation that comes out of your soda. Isn't that just adorable? And I love that granny, or the um, gorgeous grape with the pineapple punch. Okay, hang on, did I just stick my finger in there? Next, what I need to do is I've got my gorgeous grape. Here's the star, and I'm going to stamp that in gorgeous grape, clean it off here, and stamp it in melon mambo. Delicious, right? Okay, green beer for the Irish, Sharon said. Yay, yes. Hi, Andrea, welcome. And Arlene, glad you guys could join me tonight. We are stamping up some colorful cards. Lots of fun here. Okay, hang on. Now, I decided to use the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. This is still available. It is in the Occasions Mini Catalog. This is that pretty candy paper. Yeah, the back side is just gorgeous. I'm using the purple polka dots and the striped rainbow colors. How sweet it is, it's called. So one thing we're gonna do here is we're going to take this, where did my dies go? Right here. And we're gonna die cut some straws. And I don't need my straws to be full length because I'm gonna put them in the bottles. So I am going to probably die, I, I die cut like this. So I get stripe, 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 and then stripe, stripe, stripe. I did that and then I did another one like that, okay? And you don't need the full straw for my project. So here's my straws, just like magic. And then I took, oops, hang on. I took my two bottles here. This is my little bottle. This is my big bottle. And I die cut those, just like magic. Now, I've got my three quarter inch circle punch here. And I'm going to punch out these little stars. And we're going to, let me put these away so I don't lose them. You guys know I'm good at losing things. Ugh, still haven't found my money bag. Anybody cares? Oh, I know you guys care. I care too. But people are starting to send me checks that haven't cleared the bank. So yeah. Um, weirdest thing. I've been doing this 15 years and I've never ever lost my money bag. But it's in my house. That much I know for sure. Don't get me started on that. And you're like, who started you, Kelly? <laughs> right? We didn't start you on anything. Don't blame us. <laughs> I'm not, but it's so frustrating. Okay, so dimensionals on the back of these little circles, and then I'm putting them on the label part of my bottle. Okay, and now here comes some fun. We're going to take our greeting layer. Did you see those straws go there? Make sure you tell me where they are later when I go, hey, where'd my straws go? We're going to take this white layer and add it to a melon mambo layer. And this melon mambo layer is two and seven eighths wide by four and an eighth tall. That looks good. And let's set these right here. I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're done stamping now. And I'm gonna bring in 
<coughs> excuse me, my scoreboard. This is our Simply Scored scoring tool. And I've got a piece of um, pineapple punch cardstock here. And this is eight inches long by four and a quarter. I've got wax paper crumpled up. And anytime I score on here, I like to use the wax paper because it will help my stylus flow nicer. And people asked me, will this create any problems when you rub one back paper on here? Will it create any problems if you were to stamp on this layer now? And the answer is no. So, and you will find when you do this that your stylus just goes so much smoother. You don't have as much jumping channels. And I always like to hold my stylus like this versus up like this. If you kind of lean your hand on here, you can keep it right in that track. This is a fabulous, fabulous tool. All right, so score lines. One and a quarter, two and a half, five and a half, six and three quarters. And now we're going to bring our little layers in here. This is our middle layer that's gonna go in that middle area. So that's going right in here. And it fit, it's a tight fit, but it'll look really nice when it's done. And then I have a piece of pineapple punch that is one and a quarter. Is that really one and a quarter? Hang on, you guys. It doesn't look right. No, it's not one and a quarter. So, take a drink. I need to... Oh, here. I found this at a cute little store. <laughs> have yourselves a good laugh because it made me laugh like crazy. <laughs> yeah. I had to buy that. I thought my husband would appreciate it too. And he did laugh. <laughs> so we bought, um, oh, that's crooked. We bought the flowers for Haley's wedding Friday night. We went up to Green Bay and found a really wonderful florist at Nature's Best. And they had the funniest stuff in the, in the floral shop. So yeah, I don't have to cook and clean or clean. I'm a trophy wife. <laughs> it's not true. I I do cooking. I cooked my own supper tonight, but I do not have to cook very often. Okay, so now I see that I am missing my other piece. I'm not quite sure where it went, but I probably put it away with my pack of papers, so let me cut that too. It's just one inch by five and a quarter. Sorry, you guys. I didn't realize I was missing some pieces here. So we've got designer series paper. These four pieces, these four right here, are one inch by four, and this is one inch by five and a quarter. And we're going to take this, and we're going to add it to this one and a quarter by five and a half inch piece. Don't you just, do you love these colors together? I think they're so, so pretty. And then we're going to take the rainbow ones, or you could take the polka dot ones, whatever you like. It's your darn card. You do what you want. I'm going to take these and put them on each side of the score lines here. Here comes another one. This is actually one of my favorite fun folds because it's so easy and I think the wow factor is like, holy cow. Oh, I know. I had something I wanted to ask you guys. So I'm going to be starting a kit in the mail class where you're going to get a kit in the mail and it's going to be... Um, going to come with product okay so it's going to come with embellishments and whatever else I decide belongs in that monthly kit I'm hoping to do it every month I need a name for my kit I need I want a catchy name for my monthly kit in the mail so I thought you know I haven't been able to think of anything and I should just ask you guys because you guys are all super creative so if you can come up with a name for this kit in the mail that is kind of catchy I would, I would love to use it. Like, I would totally love to use it. So, anytime you want to let me know what you have, that would be awesome. Because I do need some help in that area. Okay, so we just scored like, we just um, folded like that, right? Now we're going to take this piece and we're going to just put glue at the end. Okay, just like that. And we're going to take this. And we're going to put it up probably about a half an inch. And then you're going to 
leave this side open. The side's folded up, the side's open. We're gonna do this. And now we're gonna take this bottle and add some glue right here and glue our little bottle here. Oh, don't do that yet. We need to put our straws in here, you guys. Put your glue on the front of your straw layer. Here comes our little soda bottle. Isn't that cute? I love it. And then glue on the front of this one. And here's our smaller bottle. Okay, now we have glue right there. We're gonna glue this bottle down. Now the one thing you wanna make sure is that your straw doesn't stick out too far over the top here. Okay, so try to keep it within the means of the card. I don't think I did very good with that, but it is what it is. You pay better attention to that. And then I'm going to pop this bottle up on a dimensional. So I just threw a dimensional right next to that one. And we're gonna, the smaller bottle is gonna fit just fine. See that? And this is our cute little bridge card. That's what it's called because you form a bridge over the front. Now, the other one that I made, I used the polka dotted paper in the front here with the rainbows. Which one do you guys like better? I think I like the contrast of this, but I like the way this all goes together too, so I don't know. So that's a bridge card. Yay! Gosh, it's almost 821. Okay, um, what are we gonna put? Huh, what are we gonna decorate our envelope with? Here's my envelope, and I think I'm going to use the bubbles. So, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and then I'm going to clean it. Card Kits by Kelly, Kelly's Kits. Okay, keep those ideas coming, you guys. I'm going to do a whole rainbow of polka dots here. And go like that, clean that off. Bubbles, yes, Lynn. Who doesn't love some bubbles, right? Some purple ones. And then we've got Melon Mambo. Ah, oh, thanks, Claudia. Claudia said love, love, love. How about maybe one more right there? Yeah, that is pretty cute, right? Like, that's a lot of cuteness coming in the mail. So here we go. Here is our fun little bridge card. Yeah. Okay, let me move this out of the way, and I'll bring all the cards back in here for you to see. Please don't forget, if you came on later, please don't forget to do this. Facebook won't allow me to say it anymore. But, um... This happens when you do these three things. <laughs> yeah, Facebook, take that. Boom. We can get around all your nonsense. Right, ladies? They don't know who they're dealing with, that's for sure. So there is our cute little card. Don't forget to head over to my blog if you need to place an order. Tomorrow morning you will find a shopping list for all of the products that I've made here today. So don't forget to look for that on my blog. I also post that link to my um, Facebook page. And here comes our paper pumpkin card. And don't forget, if you would like to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, I provide you with 15 different ideas each month using that monthly Paper Pumpkin kit. Plus, Stampin' Up! has a video showing you how to put the card together and instructions in the box how to do it. So that's pretty cool. This is next month. This is the May kit that was created with the Paper Pumpkin design team and Shelly Gardner. The um, um, What do they call that? If she developed the company with somebody. Co, it's not co-owner because she's the owner. Um, I don't know. Anyways, you guys know what I mean. Um, Kelly, how do you fold the card? Okay, so this card... So you've got your middle panel here, and then you fold this, oh, this side in and that side in, okay, just like that. Now the cool thing is, how do you mail the card maybe? Is that what you mean? You just lay one side flat, and this fits right in an envelope. Isn't that cool? And then when the person gets it, it's gonna, it's gonna do this. 
Yeah, pretty neat, right? Co-founder, yes. Thank you, Karen, Teresa. Oh, Sarah. Yeah, co-founder, Kay. Oh, thank you, guys. I just had like a brain fart there. I couldn't think of it. But um, so you mail your card like this, so it lays flat. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Did I miss any questions? Uh, make sure you tell me if you have an idea for the name of my monthly kit. I need something catchy and fun. And um, something that kind of signifies that it's a kit in the mail. You're going to, so this is how it's going to work. I'm going to pick out maybe a bundle to work with, or I'm going to pick out something to work with. And all the cards are going to be designed around that particular product. And then I, in, when you sign up for the kit in the mail, <clears throat> you're going to, first of all, you need to have that stamp set or whatever. Okay, and I'll tell you what it's going to be. But then you're also going to get, let's say, some candle embellishments and some glitter dots and some baker's twine that are going to come with all the layers of cardstock cut for that particular whatever I choose. That's how it's going to work. I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't made my first one yet, but I need to get on that too. Um, yeah, so that's on, my, that's on my schedule. That's why I bought that giant paper cutter, right, that I got, so... I'm hoping to be using that. Um, all of these dimensions in a complete shopping list will be on my blog. If I get it done tonight, maybe I'll post it tonight for you guys. But as soon as I'm done here with the Facebook Live, this video will be posted to Facebook. I will also upload it to YouTube. So for those of you on YouTube, don't forget to do all this. There's a bell on YouTube, and you want to ding on that. If I do decide to start doing YouTube Live videos... If you click on that bell that's on your YouTube um, channel when you're watching my video, it's going to send you a notification on your device that I'm going live or that I'm live. So you'll want to definitely do that when you're on YouTube watching any of my videos. Marsha, how much how much will the kits be? They'll be around $30 to $35. So yeah, it's going to be a really good deal. I think you're going to love it. Um, I think what I'm planning is like four cards for the kit. I, I should say, there's going to be four different designs, two of each. So you're going to get all the stuff cut and ready to roll for eight cards, plus the product that's going to be included, plus written um, instructions in a tutorial. And I might be doing videos, too. I'm not sure yet. I haven't actually put one together. But as soon as I do, I will definitely get all the details out to you guys. So just watch for those. But don't forget... Think of something really catchy for a name for my kit in the mail. I would love to have something that really catches somebody's, you know, catches your guys' eyes and go, oh, there's that Kelly with her silly kit or her fun kit or her whatever. Um, I think that would be really cool. Okay, not going to take up any more of your time tonight, you guys. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Make sure you do all these things. That really helps me out. If you're coming in late, you want to make sure that you give me this. Um, that's also helpful, and um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Make sure you check back Tuesday for my tip video on color combos. You're going to absolutely love it. Wednesday is my Samping Society blog hop. Uh, that will um, kick off a card tutorial that everybody who places a minimum $25 order with me will get. If you're on my team, you're going to get it for free. So if you need to be a discount shopper, Get 20% off all your future orders. I'm your lady. I give a lot of stuff to my team. I absolutely adore my team, and I try to do my very best for them. So join my team of discount shoppers. Oh, and I had somebody tonight, today email me and say, well, I'm just a discount shopper. Do I do this or do I get that? And I'm like, you are never just anything to me. Like, I'm just this. No, you're never just anything. You're a discount shopper on my team, and I have just as much love and respect for my discount shoppers as I do for my business builders. First and foremost, I have way more discount shoppers on my team than I do business builders, and you are all equally important and loved by me. So there you go. Okay, not taking up any more time. I will run through these comments and see if I missed any questions. Oh, I like that, Kathy. Kelly's Happy Mail Kit. I like that a lot. Okay, keep them coming. That's a good one. 
And Sandy, you're welcome. Sandy said, thank you for the giggles tonight. You're very welcome. Whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, please do this. I appreciate it. Have yourselves a wonderful um, week, and I will be back next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Bye-bye.